in a breaking development for you, I can say that I've now seen details of the letter that Chris Bryant has written to non-executives at News Corporation. He is calling for Rupert Murdoch and James Murdoch to be suspended from the organisation. The committee say that some parts of the service are unacceptable and that the public could lose faith in the tax system altogether because it's becoming so tricky and so pricey to contact revenue and customs. They say that some 48% of phone calls go unanswered and also that when you write by post, it can take months to get a reply. There also aren't enough options for people who don't have access to the internet. Ruth, you've just been at this uh, committee meeting. What did they say? Yes, at the moment they've decided they just want to write letters to a variety of individuals to get further answers on their testimony about phone hacking. And those individuals include James Murdoch and Rebecca Brooks, who both gave evidence. It also includes uh, Colin Myler, who was until very recently the editor of the News of the World, Tom Crone and John Chapman, both of whom were legal figures at the organisation, and also the law firm Harbottle and Lewis. We've been looking at some of the key opinion formers, the buzz from the counts around the country, and also feedback from our viewers viewers about the questions they want to be asked tonight. Here's a little flavour of some of the things I've been looking at. So you can see we're covering a lot of things, everyone who's mentioning the hashtag elections, uh, as well as key politicians and campaigners around the country. Now, one of the things we're getting is anecdotally reports of a low turnout. Among those who are celebrating are volunteers Daniel Hamilton and John Moss. Now, is there a touch of triumphalism in the cheer that just went up? I wouldn't say it was triumphalism. I think there was a fear at the start of the campaign that this would be quite a balkanised referendum, that you'd see certain areas of the country voting yes and other areas voting no. Over recent weeks, it has become increasingly personal, particularly between senior Liberal Democrats who want a yes vote on alternative vote and senior Conservatives who want to stick with first past the post. Today, it's Lord Ashdown versus George Osborne. He's naming the Chancellor personally, saying he's an example of why politics needs to be cleaned up. Now, it was always on the cards that the coalition was going to disagree on this subject, they're allowed to under the rules of the coalition agreement.